I think drawing hands are hard. Yeah, you are right. They are hard. Drawing hands feels like trying to pull a crocodile's tooth while blindfolded. It can get messy real quick. Lucky for you, I am here to whip your mashed potato hand drawings into shape by giving you my very own three-step process for drawing anime hands. By the way, you want to watch the whole video through to the end because step three is the most fun, but if you do not understand how to do step one and two properly, you'll end up with ugly mashed potato hands. Okay, so step one is to draw the gesture of the hand. Just like our bodies, hands are active and animated. You want to draw the main flow of the hand. There are two common rhythms a person's hands makes, C curves and S curves. And the most obvious S curve rhythm is when the wrist is bending the hand backwards. The best way I can describe it is think about where the pressure is in the hand. Make the hand gesture yourself. Ask yourself where is the most tension. That's where the flow is strongest. Many times the rhythm flows from the palm of the hand and over the top of the fingers. Some people like to draw arcing lines where each knuckle joint is. If you find this helpful, then definitely do it. Step two, constructing simple shapes and knowing proportions. The palm of the hand is curved rectangular box that arcs upward in the middle and the fingers are cylinders. You can use balls for the finger joints. However, more anatomically correct would be a cylindrical shape that are perpendicular to the fingers because the finger joints are hinges. I find a ball shape easier to use and draw quickly. So use whichever you prefer. The fingers do not grow off the palm in straight line. They spray out like peacock feathers. To help you do this, add a dot near the back of the hand by the wrist area. Draw a line branching out from this dot for each finger. All right, proportions. The middle finger is the length of the palm. Together, they make the full length of the hand. The index and the ring finger are the same length. The pinky is three quarters the length of the ring finger. By the way, it is okay if you make the ring finger or next finger slightly longer than the other. For every finger, the first knuckle up from the palm is placed at half the finger length. The next two knuckles are half the length of the first knuckle. Fingers also taper like a cone from the palm to the fingertip. As for the fingernails, you divide the fingertip in half and that's where the nail starts. The thumb length is the halfway point between the first two knuckles. This is all you need to know to make a convincing pose. You do not need to know how to draw all the hand muscles in glaring detail. Draw the gesture, construct the 3G shapes on top, and then move on to step three. In step three, you can draw the details of the hand over your simplified shapes. Use your shapes as a guideline. This is not written in stone here. For the palm of the hand, make sure you include the three pads. You want to show the bulge of the thumb, the side pattern of the pinky, and the crease of the pad just under all the fingers. Next, draw the back of the fingers straight, but not ruler straight. There are no straight lines in human beings. Making the line very gently curved will add a more natural feel. For the palm side of the fingers, draw them curved on the bottom line like a butter knife. If there is a sharp bend at the knuckle, make that more sharp corner to represent the bone. Male and female differences. Guys will have bulkier hands and squared fingertips. Girls will have slender hands and curved fingertips while also fingertips taper more. Another trick you can use to get more feminine looking hands is to give them only two joints in their fingers. Add the third joint if the finger is bending so sharply, having only two joints would look weird. Fingernails are optional. If you draw the whole fingernail, it will look ugly. Therefore, just imply the nail with one or two lines. Most of the time, the knuckles on the back of the hand are not drawn for girls, but you can get away with drawing them if you do it minimally. The general rule with making something look more like a girl is less is more. Draw less lines and imply the remainder by making the viewer's brain draw the rest for you.